Did you know that your credit score holds the key to unlocking better financial opportunities? Your credit score is one of the most important indicators of your financial health, as it shows how responsibly you use credit. A good credit score can help you get approved for loans, credit cards, mortgages, and other financial products, as well as get lower interest rates and better terms. A bad credit score, on the other hand, can limit your options, increase your costs, and hurt your chances of achieving your financial goals. So, how can you improve your credit score and enjoy the benefits of having a good credit reputation? In today's video, we're going to share with you some of the top proven tips for raising your credit score. This is the Finance Virtuoso channel, where we talk about all things finance. For your daily dose of valuable information on money, business, investments, and savings, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Tip number one, review your credit reports. The first step to improving your credit score is to review your credit reports. Your credit reports are the records of your credit history, which include information such as your personal details, your credit accounts, your payment history, your credit inquiries, and your public records. Credit reports are compiled by three major credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Your credit score is based on the information in your credit reports, so it's important to make sure that it's accurate and complete. If you find any errors, you should dispute them with the credit bureaus and the creditors that reported them. Tip number two, pay balances strategically. The second tip to improving your credit score is to pay your credit card balances strategically. Your credit card balances affect your credit score in two ways, your payment history and your credit utilization. Your payment history is the record of how you pay your bills on time, and it accounts for 35% of your credit score. Your credit utilization is the ratio of your credit card balances to your credit card limits, and it accounts for 30% of your credit score. Both of these factors are very important, and you should aim to have a positive payment history and a low credit utilization. Tip number three, pay bills on time. The third tip to improving your credit score is to pay your bills on time. This is the most important and the simplest tip, as your payment history is the biggest factor that affects your credit score. Paying your bills on time shows that you are reliable and trustworthy, and that you can manage your credit well. Missing or making late payments, on the other hand, shows that you're risky and unreliable, and that you have trouble managing your credit. This can hurt your credit score and your credit history, and it can also result in fees, penalties, and higher interest rates. To avoid missing or making late payments, automate your payments by setting up direct debits or automatic transfers from your bank account or your credit card. This way, you won't have to worry about forgetting or missing a payment, and you'll also save time and hassle. Tip number four, limit your requests for new credit. The fourth tip to improving your credit score is to limit your requests for new credit and the hard inquiries with them. Whenever you apply for a new credit card, a loan, a mortgage, or any other type of credit, the creditor will check your credit reports and your credit score to evaluate your credit worthiness and your ability to repay the debt. This is called a hard inquiry, and it can lower your credit score by a few points, as it shows that you are seeking more credit which can indicate that you're in financial trouble or that you're taking on more debt than you can handle. Therefore, only apply for credit when you really need it and when you are confident that you can get approved. Tip number five, be an authorized user. The fifth tip to improving your credit score is to become an authorized user. An authorized user is someone who is added to someone else's credit card account and who can use the credit card but who is not responsible for paying the bill. By being an authorized user, you can benefit from the primary cardholder's positive credit history, such as their on-time payments, their low credit utilization, their long credit age, and their diverse credit mix. This can boost your credit score and your credit history, and help you establish or improve your own credit. Tip number six, keep old accounts open and deal with delinquencies. The sixth tip to improving your credit score is to keep your old accounts open and deal with your delinquencies. Your credit age and your credit history are two other factors that affect your credit score. Your credit age is the average length of time that you have had your credit accounts open, 
and your credit history is the record of your past credit behavior, such as your payment history, your credit utilization, your credit mix, and your credit increase. Both of these factors are important, and you should aim to have a long and positive credit age and credit history. One way to do this is to keep your old accounts open, even if you don't use them anymore. Closing your old accounts can shorten your credit age and reduce your available credit, which can lower your credit score. Another way to do this is to deal with your delinquencies, which are any negative items in your credit history, such as late payments, missed payments, collections, charge-offs, bankruptcies, foreclosures, or repossessions. Tip number seven, consolidate your debts. The seventh tip to improving your credit score is to consider consolidating your debts. Debt consolidation is the process of combining multiple debts into one, usually with a lower interest rate and a longer repayment term. This can help you simplify your debt management, save money on interest, and improve your cash flow. Debt consolidation can also help you improve your credit score as it can lower your credit utilization, increase your credit mix, and enhance your payment history. There are different ways to consolidate your debts, such as using a debt consolidation loan, a balance transfer credit card, or a debt management plan. A debt consolidation loan is a type of loan that you can use to pay off your existing debts and then repay the loan over time, usually with a lower interest rate and a fixed monthly payment. A balance transfer credit card is a type of credit card that allows you to transfer your existing credit card balances to it and then pay them off over time, usually with a low or zero interest rate for a promotional period and a minimum monthly payment. A debt management plan is a type of program that you can enroll in with a credit counseling agency, which will negotiate with your creditors on your behalf, and then set up a payment plan for you, usually with a lower interest rate and a lower monthly payment. Tip number eight, pay down max out credit cards first. The eighth tip to improving your credit score is to pay down your max out cards first. A max out card is a credit card that has a balance that is close to or equal to its credit limit. Having a max out card can hurt your credit score as it shows that you're using too much of your available credit and that you are having trouble managing your debt. This can also increase your interest charges and make it harder for you to pay off your balance. Tip number nine, quick loan shopping. The ninth and final tip to improving your credit score is to do some quick loan shopping. This is a strategy that involves applying for a small loan that has a short repayment term and that reports your payment history to the credit bureaus. This can help you improve your credit score by adding a new credit account to your credit mix, which accounts for 10% of your credit score, and by showing that you can pay back the loan on time and in full, which enhances your payment history. However, this tip should be used as a last resort and only if you have bad credit and no other way to raise your credit score. So, there you have it. These are the 9 tips that we have for you on how to raise your credit score. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow finance virtuosos. Has any of these tips worked for you? Let me know below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.